Today, I would like to start our trip in Belize from another side of Kura River. We are passing by an interesting architectural structure of public service hall, with a rooftop designed as 11 big petals that symbolize a flower, a recognizable symbol related to rebirth. Public Service Hall houses the National Bank of Georgia, the Ministry of Energy and Civil and National Registry. The Dry Bridge Market is an open flea market that takes place every day and it's staged on the Dry Bridge. The market started in the dark 90s after the collapse of communism. Locals would gather here to make a little cash by selling their personal possessions. At some point the market turned into something more formal and today the Dry Bridge Flea Market is primarily aimed at tourists. Belize Underground or Metro is an efficient way to move around the city. The system consists of two lines of 27 kilometers, serving 23 stations. It was opened in 1966 and it was the fourth metro system in the former Soviet Union. Like other ex-Soviet metros, most of the stations are very deep and vividly decorated. Belize is home to many small and large parks in which to relax, escape the summer heat or just walk around the nature. Mziuri Park is one of the lushest and most charming and peaceful recreational spots in Belize. The famous Georgian writer Nadar Dumbadze initiated the construction of the park to create a small city for children. The entrance to the park features the sculptures of his famous characters, whose every Georgian loves and admires. Tbilisi offers two aerial cable cars and one funicular. Two of them are shown in my previous videos. Traveling from the ropeway station at Vaki Park up to the Turtle Lake, one can enjoy a beautiful view over Tbilisi. The cable car was built in 1965. Each gondola carries 10-12 passengers. Turtle Lake is located on the wooded northern slope of Mtatsminda Mount at an elevation of 687 meters above sea level. The lake is surrounded by cafes, benches and trees. It's a nice place for picnic lovers, cyclists, families and those who enjoy small boat trips on the lake. Overflowing with interesting architecture, markets, viewpoints and parks, Tbilisi is a terrific city to explore on foot. 
Backstreets of Belize Free Walking Tour starts at Hostel Fabrica, which is an iconic place itself. Once a Soviet Union factory that has been revived and transformed into multifunctional urban space. The space bringing together enthusiastic individuals ready to stretch their minds by the new experiences. The space now continues its life as the popular hotspot that unites urban-style cafes and bars, artist studios and shops, educational institutions, co-working space, interesting and different tours. With Belize Free Walking Tours, which you can find the link in the description below, we continue to explore hidden places of the city. The tour lasts for about three hours and covers major highlights of the area. This particular tour of Tbilisi back streets departs twice a week and starts at noon. Don't forget to leave the tips to the crew of these enthusiastic guides. This route is also remarkable with interesting neighborhood of Marginishvili. It's an old German settlement. Marginishvili has a fascinating mix of old world Soviet and brutalist architecture. David Akmanashibeli Avenue is known for its 19th century classical architecture. Currently named after David IV of Georgia, it was originally called Mikhail Street in 1851, in honor of Russian Prince Mikhail Voronsov, the Crown Prince of Caucasus who ruled Belize until 1854. His impact on Belize development, such as support with building Georgian Theatre, foundation of the Belize Public Library, creation of educational institutions and giving grants for Georgians to study in Russia and abroad made the grateful citizens to erect the monument on donations to commemorate Mikhail Varantsov after his death. The monument was destroyed by Bolsheviks after Russian Revolution. The Virgin Mary Assumption Church of Mitehi sits on the Mitehi cliff opposite the old town of Tbilisi. There is a legend related to the name of Mitehi. The head of Ossetians Bakatari kidnapped the sister of King Vahtan Gargasali. The sister informed the king by a letter that Bakatari is always covered by armor and can be reached by weapon only through his armpit. When two leaders met on the battle, they agreed that the king will not shoot Bakatari until he crossed the river. However, the king broke his promise and killed Bakatari before. Since it was against his principles, the king Vahtang decided to build a church, which he called Metehi, that literally means, I broke my promise. The last night in beautiful Tbilisi, but not the last one in Georgia. Taking the high-speed train to Batumi, where I will see you on my next video. If you enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.